Dave from JD Psychworks. I know you've all been asking about Goldenrod since she had this smoking issue. Well, she quit smoking. So we had the heads redone, the set of plus one valves in there, a uh, little thinner head gasket, 40,000. Other than that, the whole thing stayed the same. I'm gonna show you what the difference is today. Again, today is really, really hot, so it will change the numbers a little bit. The max powers will be, the max numbers will be a little lower than probably in the cooler weather, but should be kind of comparative. So let me bring you over here and bring up something to show you. Hold, let me clear this mess off of here. Come down here, let's bring what we got here. So here is today. Bad at all for a 150 degree day here. Let's bring up the last time I ran this bike here, which I can do. Okay, so here it is. Today, with the plus one heads, and again, it's really hot, this area here is gonna be a little different. And plus I'm using a different map to work on the throttle control in these 23s. The difference in the map is how the background information is set up to make the throttle feel on these bikes. It's been a bit of a challenge with these traction control bikes. So some of this is a little different here, but um, it still comes out of the hole pretty darn hard. The blue line is with the original cylinder heads. You can see it had a tiny little bit more low end torque and it was much cooler that day. But even in the heat, it's showing a bit more horsepower here. You know, from 128 to 130. So we got some power gains with these little bigger valves, not a whole ton, I was expecting a ton. I think on a day, if I ran this on a day, of the same temperature, it would probably be almost dead on, if not a little more. But uh, pretty interesting to see how this turned out. And um, to show you guys what happened with this little extra valve size, again, is it worth taking your bike to do this apart with the cam upgrade? Ah, eh, maybe. I don't know. The math and the dyno is going to take this correction factor in place and help keep this comparative, but it's not 100% exact. So yes, I do certainly believe on a cool day with much denser air that this would have showed probably a few more horsepower and a few more torque. Now there's something else I want to talk to you guys about. A lot of people ask me why there's dips in my graphs. And the main reasons why is I start my runs low, like here at 2000 RPMs. A lot of folks will start to run at 2500 RPMs, so they get past this whole area. You know, so it looks more tabletop light for you. Or they'll load the or they'll put the brake on on the bike before they make the dyno run, and they'll load the bike down to the engine gets pulled down 100% with the brake. Then they release the button and release the brake, and it kind of shoots up. Now I do this for a reason. I start the runs very early because I'm calibrating this area, the fuel mixture. Otherwise, if you're not starting the runs, so you don't know what the bike's doing there, so you can't adjust the mixture. So that's why the graphs are what they are with me. They're going to show you what I see. And that's how it is. That's how a graph looks for a lot of things. Um, I can fiddle around with them and screw around with them and make them look like square lines for you guys, but really that's just lying to you. You know, so, but here it is. That's the gains today with Goldenrod. She's back up and run. She quit smoking. She's ready to roll. A little more power. And uh, hope you enjoy the video. Well, we got to wait to see what happens in the fall. And we'll see what happens with the workload and all that. And, but I'm happy to be able to show you guys something. With this, a little bit of progress on research, a little couple more things for you to see, to think about. Like let's say when your bike comes in or goes to a shop and yes, it is smoking, it's consuming all the valves of the lake. And hey, maybe, maybe have that plus one valve put on there. A little more head gas, keep the same stock size, maybe some fresh rings and you know you're gonna get a little more power. You know, not, not everybody needs a big cubic inch engine. You know, 136 foot pounds of torque, 130 horsepower, that ain't bad. Back in the twin cam days, you spent a whole lot of money to get that. I mean, well, obviously I spent a lot of money too, but you have to spend a lot more of the twin cam to get there. You know, you have to be buying throttle bodies, complete throttle bodies, ported cylinder heads, you know, stroking them out, and it was a lot more involved, you know, so it's to get these power levels. So it's uh, pretty exciting. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. I'll try to keep sending them out to you.